Hello folks from Kentucky. This is Scam Packer Michael Raw. Or Ron Newman, whatever you want to call. But uh, I want to take a look at another one of my Bibles. Put it out there. Uh, I think it's a study aid that most people don't know that they need. I didn't know that I needed uh, a Bible like this until... Uh, I got my Dake Annotated Reference Bible and uh, started uh, going through it uh, back in the 80s. But uh, what I have, if I can keep my fingers out of the way, is King James Version, Words of Christ in Red. It's a Riverside Hebrew Greek Key Study Bible edited by Spiros. And I can't say his last name, so uh, maybe you can get it. <laughs> Special edition for the Christian booksellers of the world. So it comes from Christian booksellers. Keywords are transliterated. And explain grammatical help section, strong dictionary, complete new lexicon, 12 full color maps, exigulous notes. And I probably massacred that word too in the best Kentucky vernacular. Introduction to each book, entire library in one volume. Uh, genuine bonded leather. But being it's an uh, 80s model, you'll see what one looks like that's had quite a bit of use. Because I like to know what I'm reading and what it's really saying. Sometimes the New English just doesn't give it justice. And I don't know if this uh, version is still available or not. Uh, I think the new ones have a center column reference system this one does not so let's see if we can get into it here one-handed i do try to keep my boxes for storage burgundy Good solid box. Uh, bonded leather, like I said. It came with uh, three ribbon markers. Got the gold foil edges. Hebrew Greek Key Study Bible. Strong's. And there's the number of it. 670RL Riverside. And it's published by the same people that uh, published my uh, Salem Kerbin Bible, AMG Publishers. Got a lot of note pages in it. Presentation page. And this is a first printing. Okay, here's an explanation on how the Bible works. Under... 
How to use the Hebrew Greek Key Study Bible. Okay, there's your headings of Acts. And you've got introductions to each book. And then light underlined words are only treated in Strong's Dictionary. Look up the number given in the last section of the Bible. Grammatical notos, notations. The explanation of the codes are found on page number 1569. Get a closer look. No center column reference in, in this version. But I do believe the new ones do have a center column reference. Red letter version indicates Christ's words. Example. Chapter 6, verse 4, explanation. Okay, start up here. Subject headings are throughout the text. Between the scriptures. Heavily underlined words. Remember we had the light underlined words over here. Like trees. Come back over here. Now your heavily underlined indicates words treated in both the lexicon and the Strong's Dictionary within the Bible. Italic words are the... Uh, Words that are supplied by the translators to make uh, make it into the English translation and make it readable. It has a lot of good notes throughout. I recommend it. This way you can always go back to the Hebrew or Greek and find out the true meaning of the word. Like, uh, for example, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, where we're caught up. The word harpazoa is used, which means to grasp out hastily or hurriedly. Let's see. Got good, good print. The ghosting is uh, practically non-existent. When you get over into the New Testament, let's see if I can get there. It's a little bit different. So you can see the, the numbers and uh, stuff here and uh, other little things. But when we get to the New Testament, they're even easier than that to see. Okay. Okay, now here, you'll see color-coded. Orange. Now, 
make these easier to see in the New Testament. Okay, it's a uh, nine-point type, but it's very readable. And then when you get into the notes, they're an eight-point. You number keys. You have your different parts of it. Dictionaries. Shows you how the word is actually written in uh, Hebrew or Greek, such as the uh, case may be. And you can find uh, a wealth of uh, information here. Here's those note pages I was telling you about. I think there's 10 in the front, uh, 10 here, and then you have the harder pages back here. I think you have three or four back here. Maps are good. It's worthy of your uh, consideration. And like I said, 1984, you can see where the bonded leather, this has been used quite a bit.